We are talking some Detroit Lions news for you folks today. And in this video, Ode Ibushi, former Lions offensive lineman, coming in for a workout. We'll talk about that and what it means. Emmanuel Mosley speaks. Will he be ready for week one against the Kansas City Chiefs? Lions sign a couple of players here in Tay Williams and Avery Davis. Let's get this thing going. <music> Before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guess what? Because it's preseason on Friday, we'll be doing the live watch parties preseason all the way till the season is over for our Detroit Lions. So you don't want to miss out. It's really fun. Everybody loves doing it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's go ahead and start with the first news here. And that's former offensive lineman Ode Abushi is coming into Detroit for a workout. Abushi played for two seasons with the Lions from 2019 to 2020. Over that time, he made 21 game appearances and 13 starts. He played both right and left guard for the Detroit Lions. And you say, what does that have to do with any? Is it really a big deal? Well, it just shows you when it comes to the backup guard position, we're in flux right now. Dan Campbell said somebody has got to kind of break that. And it looks like not a lot of breaking has taken place. So they're bringing in a veteran guard for a workout to potentially come to Detroit and be part of the Lions' you know, depth at the guard position. <sighs> So it brings me to this question. Are you concerned about the offensive interior depth? Let me know in the comment section. Why for yes and then for no. I want to know your thoughts on this one. For me, I'm uh, not really that concerned. I think they're, you know, they're trying to make the 53 roster best, but you would like to see some of these guys kind of stand out a little bit more. But I'm not concerned when we're talking about backup of the backup. Now, Look, if we sign him, he has played in the NFL, so it's good to have that experience. He's not the greatest guard in the world, but we'll make do. Emmanuel Mosley, Lions free agent cornerback, whom we signed, finally speaks. He hasn't practiced at training camp. He says, I'm feeling good, Mosley, via free press. I just needed a little bit more, but yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. He continues on. I think we're always examining timelines, Mosley Express. That can change day to day, but I trust everyone in the building. When the time is right, I'll be out there, and I cannot wait. So when it comes to Emmanuel Mosley, I'm concerned about him availability for week one of the 2023 NFL season. He's been injured since he was in San Francisco. We thought potentially he could be ready for training camp, but he had a little bit of a cleanup, and that cleanup has made it to where he has not practiced. When we talk about the best ability for any sort of player, it's availability. And right now, Emmanuel Mosley has not been available for the Detroit Lions as of yet. Now, we need him out there every single game. He is a damn good player when he is on the field. Him and Cameron Sutton would make a really good combination as one, too. Then you put C.J. Gardner-Johnson in the slop and or in the safety position, In the Lions' defensive backfield is pretty good. Right now, though, Jerry Jacobs is holding down the other side opposite of Cam Sutton. And I love Jerry Jacobs. I think everybody loves Jerry Jacobs. So the, the, the concern is like, okay, well, at least you have a good, reliable person that can stand in his spot but again we signed him to a deal to be a difference maker our defense needs to be really good specifically week one against the Kansas City Chiefs who has an elite offense with Patrick Mahomes and company we need to have our best players out there to match up with their offensive weapons and Winning a game like week one is so important towards the Lions season this year, not only momentum wise, but confidence. And when it comes to media and fans alike, I mean, if you go to Arrowhead and you beat Patrick Mahomes on opening game when they're getting their love for winning the Super Bowl, 
that could be a huge momentum boost for the Lions. And every player counts when it comes to that. Every piece on defense must be out there for this. So when it comes to Emmanuel Mosley, yes, I'm concerned for week one. Am I concerned throughout the whole season? No, I'm not concerned. I know the Lions love to take it slow with injuries, and I do appreciate that. There's no reason to wreck anybody, and it's a long season. 17 games and a bye week, that is a long season. So I think how they operate and being careful is really important for Emmanuel Mosley, really important for the Lions, and the smart thing to do. But my question for you is, will Emmanuel Mosley play week one against the Kansas City Chiefs? Why for yes and not for no? Let me know in the comments below. The Detroit Lions made a signing for a cornerback here, and that is Mr. Tay Hayes. Tay Hayes is formerly of the New England Patriots. He played four NFL seasons. He played a total of 13 games. He entered the league in 2019, signing with the Jacksonville Jaguars undrafted free agent. The 25-year-old has played in games for the Miami Dolphins and clearly with the New England Patriots. Well, again, you look at his career stats, it is nothing to hang your hat on. He did play in games, though, 13 games. He had 16 combined tackles, 10 solo tackles, and two pass defense. He is considered a veteran, even though, obviously, when it comes to Hayes, he's not anything that you would say, oh, this guy is an absolute stud in a certified G. But last season, he appeared in seven games, five in Carolina and two with the New England Patriots. A total of six tackles. Additionally, Hayes suited up for the USFL's Birmingham Stallions in 2022 with 37 tackles in one interception, and the team won the title for the season. He played at Appalachian State for college, and he intercepted a total of nine passes across seasons, also posted a total of 138 tackles and eight for loss. The Lions are dealing with some injuries when it comes to Williams and Emmanuel Mosley. Safety of Futu Afan will also miss some time, so he can come in here and potentially get an opportunity to make the 53-man roster. When I look at him, when I look at what he brings to the Detroit Lions, he brings practice squad material. That's right. I don't think he has a shot legitimately to make the 53-man roster, I just don't. He he seems like a player who would be destined to go to the practice squad. A guy who has seen time in the NFL, so that's not bad for a practice squad or an individual that has seen some legit games and has an opportunity to you know develop his game on the practice squad. And if he doesn't make the practice squad, hey, it's a camp body at this point, and you can never have enough camp bodies, especially with the preseason here. He'll have an opportunity to get some plays on the field, get his feet wet, and who knows? Maybe he comes out and does a good job, or he comes out and blunders this whole thing. Either way, when it comes to this young man, he has an opportunity to attempt to make the Lions roster, but I'm not suggesting this is a great signing. I'm not suggesting this is a franchise changing signing not at all folks so don't get that from here he is just a camp body practice squad material also the Detroit Lions made another signing an interesting one for a wide receiver and this is because we've had some injuries at the wide receiver position but the folk that we got here is Avery Davis. He once was one of the top dual threat quarterback recruits in the country ranked among the test 10 best, according to 24-7, before switching to receiver after enrolling at Notre Dame. His best season came in 2021 when he had a career-high 27 catches for 386 yards and four touchdowns. He was projected to start in the slot last season, but Davis tore his ACL in camp, ending his collegiate career before it began. And you look at his career stats at college in Notre Dame here. 
He is 31 games, 66 receptions for 156 yards during last or the 2022 season. And zero touchdowns there as well. Now, last year, again, like you said, he was injured, so it wasn't happening right there. It just, obviously, he's not playing. When I look at what he brings to the Detroit Lions, he brings camp body material. I'm not even going to suggest this guy's going to make the practice squad. I think he's an individual you just look at to see, hey, look, we got some injuries to the wide receiver position. We need players to play in preseason, Avery Davis is an individual that can do that. We have slot receivers. We have individuals that can tear up the middle. But maybe, just maybe, you never know. Tom Kennedy is, was one of those guys. He's been on this team forever. But honestly, I don't have any expectations for Avery Davis. I think it's somebody that can help out for the next couple of weeks. All from week one preseason to the third preseason game. If not, he could get cut before. Maybe for another player, how we just consistently are rotating, moving in and out of the Detroit Lions. You know, 53-man roster, 90-man roster. They're just kind of trying to see if there's any player out there. You never leave a stoned on turn. That's what I see is going on for our Detroit Lions in this move. So just like the previous I don't see this being a big-time signing for the Detroit Lions, but you're going to want to hit that notification bell and subscribe because live watch parties begin, preseason included, will be live 6.30 p.m. on Friday all the way till the game is over. We'll do a post-game video, jump on LNU for a post-game show to have fun. So again, hit that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss out on these streams.